So like that, you just follow through. So it, the actual device recognizes your movement of your preference so you can use it as a, a mouse. So what we have here is a device called Snow from a company called Coxspace. So this is actually manufactured indeed in uh, South Korea, which is brilliant because we all know during 70s or 80s, if some devices were made from South Korea, everyone would have laughed at it. But nowadays it's very difficult to find uh, any device that is made from Korea because it's really high quality. So I'm really excited about this. So basically what this is, is a gesture control device, very similar to the one that I reveal, um, actually reviewed um, a while ago from a company called um, So We Go Tech, which you actually put it around your palm and you actually move your hands and then you can control various devices and etc. This one actually comes with two different modes. So you should actually put it on your finger, which is called a ring device, uh, that's why. And also you can actually put it on a charging cradle. So it looks like a egg, almost like a docking station and you can control it. So it comes with a Bluetooth 4.2 and a um, 32 milliamp per hour, which is uh, not as much as I thought it would be, but I'm sure it's gonna last long. Android uh, 5.0 and uh, charging duration is about 30 minutes for both of the cases as well. So I'm really excited about this gesture control devices and I'm sure I'll feature more about it. But enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Okay, so both end, there's a sticker that could easily be peeled off. And let's put that somewhere else. Brilliant, look at that. That is one clever thing you got there. So this is what we call the, um, what is it again? The, uh, charging cradle okay uh, so basically there's the spongy kind of rubbery kind of bottom that gives a strong grip to the wooden table and there's a magnetic joint there uh, to start with and I think this okay so there's the USB-C and you can open up and close this is the main thing shouldn't it this whole thing should be the main controller so really nice package i, I love it actually um, so that should be the core thing the controlling device inside the package we got the snow um, manual and i presume there's another white box that needs to come out where there will be cables here um, and Ah, okay, so these are the uh, thing that creates a ring. So that will be going in here and you could actually put it on your finger, it becomes a ring. Um, a really good quality. We all know that if you have this sort of mesh, then that is a really good quality USB-C. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm not 100% sure about this, but I, I presume it's gonna help with the ring. Um, and we've got another spare here. So we've got two spares, um, which is very generous of them. So you could go for black or white, and also you could go for metal as well. Oh, really good for that. Didn't expect that. Oh, we've got another one. So you could actually, so I think what it is is, does it come with different sizes or is it just three spares? I presume it's actually down to the thickness of your finger. You could go for either of them, but um, that's pretty much it, I think. So the instruction is pretty straightforward. So you basically create a ring shape out of the strap. So I like the white, so I prepared it like here. And then you actually attach the actual main controlling device. Um, so that's going here. And then what you can do is then you could actually put into the cradle uh, charging station by putting it to here, okay and then close it carefully. You can see the red light flashing there. I presume it's charging it like that. Okay, um, so it's either those two ways. I think you can actually control moving like this. So it's a magnetic joint and also a firm grip on the bottom. So it feels really secure. And the way you're constantly charging is on the backhand side, there's a USB-C that you, um, 
connect to and then the other end you can connect to your computer so constantly charge it which is very good because the cable is also short and very good quality remember people good quality from korea um, and also the other thing is last thing what you need to do is you can connect to various devices to control it with the bluetooth all right to start with we've got the app installed so let's pre press on it nice we can use it for air mouse gesture mouse Let's also go for joystick mouse and app mouse as well. Also on the gesture mode, you can actually get trained up to uh, see the animation guide. Uh, so recording gesture, so you could do left, right. So basically if you do left, it's the left arrow, right is the right arrow, uh, up is tap, but you, you get the idea, right? You could do volume up and volume down. That's very interesting. Play, pause. So if you go forward like that, it's play. And then if you go backwards, it's um, the opposite. So that's pretty much it. Right, so if you look carefully on the instruction, how you wear it is you put that ring into between the top and the middle of your index finger, right? So you could press the actual button. So that's how it looks like. So in other words, let's take it out. And the arrow needs to go on the front as well. So around here, okay. And then you can press the button to function, right? So that's how it works. And then you can train yourself and record all these gestures. So to start with, let's go for this one. So what you do is you follow the instruction from here to move it like that. You can see that there's this red dot increasing so like that, you just follow through. So it, the actual device recognize your movement of your preference. So you can use it as a, a mouse. Okay, so let's go from here to the gesture. Come on. So you press the button like that. And basically you could actually put it into the docking station. Make sure this metal two thing actually get right attached to the end of the um, docking station it says disconnected but don't be surprised what you need to do is just press it so that the red light will blink and then it will turn into uh, blue again so now it will be connected uh, again and um, the way how you use this is that make sure uh, that this is actually facing this way so if you scroll down you can see the arrow going up down and then left and right so it's pretty simple and very clever device, isn't it? So left, right, um, and up and down, okay? All right, so for the Windows, you just go to the Cockspace official website and then download. And if you press that, you'll be able to download the Snow uh, software for free. So let's download that right away. Um, point to speed, you can adjust that. This is more a bit more detailed, I think, than the actual app. So you can actually, so all these things that I recorded on the, um, my smartphone app is now automatically transferred to my um, Windows software as well. So that's all good to go, 80% charge, brilliant. So one of the things you have to make sure is that uh, the thumb is easily accessible to this middle or to the front arrow side. So you could actually click to the, um, there are two buttons here, as same as the mouse, you know, left button and right button. So if I were to move it around like that, and then if I were to press play, and then let's do the full screen as well. It's really good, actually. It's, it, you get a hang of it, actually. Initially, you kind of struggle, but you know, once you get used to it, you could do that and let's see if I could adjust the volume though that's the thing um, I'm not sure how the volume is actually controlled um, on YouTube to be honest with you because I know that you're supposed to do uh, okay let's just pause the sound for a moment okay so I just manually did it so basically um, I don't think you can control the volume with this gesture control but it's easy to control it because I, I believe this is actually on the right place but you got to train yourself how you press your thumb onto the left and the right button so basically this is the left button and right button if you see what I mean so press that it's pretty straightforward you know so next video 
Well, now let's not play someone else's video because of the copyright issue. But if we go to premium, it's, yeah, very good. All right, so same with the cradle uh, mode as well. So you can make sure that this actually mouse facing to facing towards the keyboard if you're on the right hand and then you can see the mouse cursor is moving just exactly how you want it to be okay so you could do diagonal as well and um, it's it's not as quick as mouse but it shows that it's capable of doing uh, different control functions as well which is really brilliant okay so I hope this video helped you understand more about this device called Snow, which is a gesture control, a very good quality from South Korea actually. And um, yeah, very easy to train yourself to use it and um, pretty straightforward indeed. So basically you saw about five or six um, minimum gesture control functions here, but I'm sure you could actually apply new gestures into this device into your computer to uh, use it for different functions as well. For example, like a guy like me, I use AutoCAD almost every day. And what I find it really frustrating using a regular mouse is to zoom in and zoom out by using the central wheel here. And I'm sure if I train myself using the, um, the Snow, I could actually come up with a faster solution for zooming in, zooming out, and the experience will be much more enjoyable to use. And etc and this is definitely the way forward i mean gesture control is already here people uh, and i'm sure many devices that will come along in the future will be based on such uh, gesture control device so i think everyone should be training themselves to actually get used to it because initially you'll find it a bit tricky to use but once you get hang of it it's pretty straightforward indeed and one thing that i find it bit difficult, bit frustrating at the moment. I don't know whether I'm doing it right or wrong, but is that once uh, Snow becomes the controlling device registered onto your computer or your smartphone, that, uh, that two example I applied, it becomes the main dominant controlling device, for example, which means that if I were to use my um, ordinary mouse while I'm actually connected to my um, Snow, it will be very difficult to use my mouse and it will be more, the device, the main device will be keen to listen to what Snow wants to do, if you see what I mean. And on my smartphone, rather than pushing the button by using my finger, the, my smartphone will rather listen to Snow's command, which I hope that um, the Coxbase team could somehow, I hope, I, it's my personal opinion, is to make both ways uh, flexible in in other words, like not trying to make the um, stall only dominant controlling feature, if you see what I mean. But anyhow, um, I hope you like watching this video. If you have any queries, please do come back to me. And for uh, Coxbase, please, uh, team, please help me um, understand how I could adjust the volume up and down when I watch YouTube, because I, I haven't figured that out, if you see what I mean. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.